Okay, we're going to show you where tragedy happened August 10th of last year. Right now we're August 2nd, but it'll give you an idea. Myself, I even had a hard time to, uh, I even had a hard time to find it because I don't come here too often. Nice area, nice home. Where the asshole was shooting from. Right there. I don't know if there's anybody living in there. Very quiet. Very quiet. Compared to almost a year ago. Four people shot dead because of an idiot. And Fredericton hasn't been the same since. Now The uh, accused shooter, which I talked to him about a week ago, a year ago, a year, exactly a year ago, I saw him at Coffee and Friends, and he was just staring, staring, and he wasn't moving at all for about, just, he, he wasn't the same guy, he, wasn't, he was always paranoid, but he was really, really, his mind was really, So, a lot of people, their life hasn't been the same. We'll know exactly where we were when this happened. Four people were shot dead right behind me. I'm surprised it's not a cross here. A lot of people hasn't, haven't been the same. And a lot of these people in there, they're on social assistance limited income. I wonder if the government gave them professional help that they that you know they need. It's just like me, me, me. When the cops raided my place, Fredericton police, with the RCMP, the sexual child exploitation people, uh, I wasn't the same for about two years. That happened six years ago. And to this day, I'm still not as edgy as I was, but they never offered me help. They were looking for child porn, and they went fishing, and then they created a monster, and Charles, focus, never mind. So here, a lot of changes. Leanne Fitch is gone. Bye-bye, au revoir. Uh, I seemed, she seemed to be remembered about what happened here. I don't know really what them two has to do 
to get her, but uh, she was in Halifax. Okay, during the crisis, you need leadership. I was in Miramichi. My cousin called me and said, thank God that you're not in Fredericton. And once I found out what happened, I decided to stay in Miramichi because the cops didn't need a little hyper blogger taking pictures. But I asked some people, some friend of mine, <clears throat> did they go down the police station? All kinds of flowers. Somebody said, why would I go there and hug people that I don't even know? True. Everybody came together. And I guess it was pretty rough too. Different police force came here, but a lot of the cops, some heroes came out. The guy that shot the idiot and the two first cops that showed up on the scene. And this thing, you know, they, uh, they were the Paul Bearers at the funeral. So really, what happened? And then you got, uh, I mean, you arrive at the scene, you see, you see the cop shot dead. And you end up uh, being the Paul Bearer. Heroes. And now, a lot of changes, a lot of them still off duty, and a lot of them, they'll never be the same. And why should they? So then you turn around, uh, somebody, two, two people came, came outside there. So the bottom line is, what happened when that happened? It's, it's, uh, they'll never be the same again. Now I lost my train of thought. They took, right from that window, lost my train of thought, I got, I got distracted. But the bottom line, we got a new police chief. The, P the police were getting, the Fredton police were getting a little bit out of control, too much power. They didn't really care for the citizen. Uh, just did whatever they wanted to do. They, they, they were really, really getting really hated, hated by the public. And suddenly this tragedy happened and it was sort of like, Oh, let's lay back here. Let's watch. Maybe we should do things differently. And now we got a new police chief, Roger Brown. And just a coincidence, Roger Brown was a, he was in charge when those three RCMP were shot in Mount. And now we have Roger Brown. He's going to be in charge in a week from now, eight days when the anniversary hits. And again. Frederick 10 will have to be reminded of what happened when that asshole decided to take control of the four lives that he took away. Now, some good things must some good things must come out of this tragedy. But what? Uh, I believe the word communication is getting much better. And I believe the police, they're supposed to be the good law-abiding citizen of the community. They're the good, the good, the good, the good citizen that you look up to. And I believe it's starting to get much, much better. Uh, communication is the key. So this is very quiet here compared to almost a year ago. And I'm just wondering if the government did a follow-up on the people that live here, that hear the shooting, that could still hear the sirens in their head. Did the, did the government do a follow-up? There must be a lot of uh, people with PTSD and are traumatized after what happened. But it looks like the building is the same, hasn't been upgraded. Let's stay tuned.
where he was, right there.